Human rights groups have condemned a video posted on the internet which appears to show Syrian rebels executing captured government soldiers. Amnesty International and the United Nations say that if the killings are confirmed, they constitute a war crime. Well, the BBC's Jim Muir reports from neighbouring Lebanon. He told me that even though the contents of the video have not been verified, it is likely to be genuine. It's clearly not the kind of video that you could fake. I mean, uh, you'd have to be very good actors to, to play those parts. Basically, um, it shows, as you say, a, a group, a very large group of gunmen, uh, obviously in a state of some excitement, uh, herding and pushing uh, something like a dozen, perhaps ten uh, army soldiers who've been captured in this uh, unfinished building that was presumably acting uh, as a kind of... Uh, uh, reserved for a checkpoint there, um, pushing, shoving, kicking them, forcing them to the ground, and eventually uh, opening fire. Um, you can see the, the, the building there is kind of unfinished building, the kind of uh, place where troops who are manning a checkpoint would be resting and sleeping and so on. Um, the uh, prisoners are, are kind of herded to the ground there, pushed and kicked and shouted at. Uh, and then the fighters uh, open fire, and you can see, um, I don't know how much you're going to show of it, but you can see the bodies kind of twitching as the bullets are pumped into them. Um, very ugly scenes uh, indeed, the kind of thing that has already drawn con condemnation from uh, international and local human rights groups. Uh, reminiscent rather of some video that appeared a few months ago from Aleppo, where uh, a group of rebel fighters summarily executed um, some Shabiha, that's uh, the pro-government militia um, who they had captured. Um, and that similarly drew not just condemnation, but it drew action from the rebels themselves, because most groups then signed up to uh, a kind of a pact of honor or um, agreed principles uh, which would ban this kind of behavior. Now, the group that's being blamed or certainly uh, alleged that it is responsible for uh, the killings that you're seeing there is called Al Nusra Front. Now, that is a kind of extremist Islamist group that has joined in um, on the ground uh, alongside the other uprising groups. Uh, and it is being blamed for this uh, particular set of killings. And Hillary Clinton, the US Secretary of State, has warned that these radical types of Islamist fighters are trying to hijack what's going on in Syria. What response has, has that drawn? Well, um, it has not gone down at all well by the opposition as a whole. Um, even the head of the, the Syrian National Council, the, the main uh, umbrella group, uh, basically said that uh, it's very unfair for the Americans and others to, to criticize um, the opposition for allowing uh, Islamist extremist fighters to, to join in the fray. They're saying these people have given us nothing, the outside world. Uh, they're very desperate to have, for example, shoulder-fired anti-aircraft uh, weapons with which they could defend themselves against the regime's unbridled use of uh, air power. Uh, but they have not been receiving arms or support, practical support, uh, from the West in that way. So Jim Muir reporting there.